dun, 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 dun. This is how we do it. Yeah. to my channel so today I'm going to be doing my I don't know my everyday beat I guess that's what you can call this not an it's not an everyday beat because I don't beat my face every day I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see like my full face beat so here you go this is how we do it dun, 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 dun. this is how we do it this is basically like a favorites video kind of favorite slash makeup tutorial. So I'll be sharing that with you guys in this video as well. Okay, um, so my favorite primer right now is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. As you can see, this is how much I've used up. Um, it pumps up from the bottom, so it's squeezing every single little bit out of there, which I like. I do use this every single day. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I do try to wear this um, if I'm leaving the house just because it gives me a very nice glassy finish to my skin. Also, it kind of locks in the moisture. I don't drink enough water, so I like for my skin to be hydrated like I do. I really love this primer. It's mainly because it gives me the glassy finish, but also it really does help when you're wearing makeup to make your makeup adhere to your skin. So my skin is always hydrated underneath, but it also gives me a very smooth canvas to work with. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to foundation, I have a lot of foundations that I've been loving as of recent. Um, so today I'm going to be mixing um, two foundations. One is the NARS Sheer Glow, which is one of my favorite foundations of all time. I love this foundation so much. Uh, this is the color Bahia literally amazing but the only thing about the NARS sheer glow is it does it does give more of a glowy finish it doesn't really give like a completely matte finish which is fine sometimes I do want to have like a bit more of a glowy dewier finish but because I know I'm gonna be wearing my makeup all day I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the new Bobbi Brown actually this is Bobbi Brown's skin long wear weightless foundation um, but it comes in new shades uh, they fixed some of their golden olive shades to be more undertone friendly instead of just being shade friendly um there is a difference the color i mix is the color golden i'm actually not cool golden right now cool golden is a little too burnt for me at the moment i honestly find that nars foundations mix well with pretty much any foundation they are amazing for mixing bobby brown is more matte and it's gonna last long so that's why i mix those two and i'm using a smashbox powder foundation brush um, there are people doing work next door, so sorry if you can hear like like weird noises. Let's see, what are we doing next? Concealer. My current favorites are the Cover FX Power Play Concealer, and I also still really love the Born This Way um, multi-use sculpting, but this one is a little too dark for me, so that's why I do mix it. Um, like as you can see, it's more for like my summer shade, and that's why it's a little dark because I did buy this in the summertime. And then I mix a little bit of this in. This one's a lot lighter, so it gives me a bit more of a highlight effect. Like I said, this is a full beat, okay? We are going for cake face today, so I'm gonna put it all over. Um, my current favorite makeup sponge right now is the, of course, Your Lash Bar Jello so Shots sponge. It is such a good sponge, oh my goodness. Um, they're just really like soft and bouncy. I mean, they're like the best and they're cheap. So go get you some. I'm just going to use my sponge to blend out under my eyes. This is Huda Beauty's setting powder in the color Blondie. I don't really use any other setting powder at the moment to set my under eyes. And I believe in using up all your product before you throw it away. So okay. even though I do love Fenty setting powder. Um, and I will be using that one as well <laughs> because this is a full beat, okay? So I'm gonna contour with um, Flesh Thick Stick Foundation, color is Pecan. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of that in the hollows of my cheekbones to make them look like they're perky. I'm also going to use that down the bridge of my nose. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm using a Morphe E50 brush and I'm just going to go in and lightly 
blend out that contour. And instead of just going straight up and down, I have an angular face already, so I'm kind of curving my contour. You probably can't really tell, um, but when I do my bronzer and everything, I'll make sure to reinforce the curvature. But I'm going underneath my cheekbones to kind of like give it the illusion that I have plump cheeks because I don't have cheeks. Like my cheeks are very small. And then I'm blending down my nose. This is just going to make my nose look a little more defined because anytime you put on foundation and concealer and all this stuff on your face, you're gonna look pancakey. You're gonna look like you have no nose. <laughs> Um, so it's not that I really want my nose to look skinnier, but I just want it to be more prominent because I took it away with makeup. But the contour does also help you to sculpt out the shape you want of your nose, just in case you do have like, you know, a wider set nose and you want to bring it in a little bit more just to kind of like, you guys know what I mean, you know? I'm going to use this brush. I love these brushes. These are by Real Techniques. Uh, I believe you can get these at Ulta. I'm almost 100% certain you can get them at Ulta and Walmart. Um, and Target. And I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's bronzer in the color Coco Naughty. I'm just going to take my bronzer and lightly durst that in my cheekbone area to define further. Okay. To further define. And I don't know if I said this, but I'm literally getting ready for nothing. Uh, <laughs> I always want to do my makeup when I have like nothing extra special to do. I mean, I'm going to see Avengers Endgame tonight, but I don't know if that counts. Like, is that a reason to put on a full face of makeup? Probably not. I never beat my face like this when I have somewhere important to go. <laughs> you know, I sometimes feel like beating my face. It's actually therapeutic for me to beat my face. Like, I don't know why, but it makes me feel better just in general. Like when I'm having a bad day and need to like perk myself up. So this is Fenty Beauty setting powder and the color in the color Honey. And I'm gonna use this uh, hourglass double-ended brush to just kind of, well, before I put that on, I'm just gonna sweep underneath my eyes and get rid of any of that extra. And I'm just gonna dust that underneath. Now you can, if you want to really get the maximum amount of contour, like really get your cheekbones popping, you can take your sponge and go underneath, go underneath your contour right here and do this number. And this will really help to define and highlight that contour so that it stands out even more. You don't have to. Like I said, I have an angular face, so I typically don't need to do this, but just letting you know if you wanted to slim out your face some more. Um, but I'm just gonna go back with this powder and blend everything together. And I typically do always use this powder, even on like regular days when I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup, I do use this powder just for, you know, smoothing out and blending everything together. From here, I usually do one of two things. I either do my eyebrows first or I highlight first. Today, I feel like highlighting first, so we're gonna highlight. I'm gonna take the booty end of my sponge. This is how you're gonna get your extra special highlight, okay? This is how you're gonna get your slamming, banging highlight, okay? I take a stick highlighter like this one. You can use whatever you prefer. This is Flesh Twitch, uh, which is more like a, it's not even a rose gold. It just kind of gives me like peachy and I don't know, beautiful. It's just gorgeous. So we're just gonna take some of that and we're going to use the booty and we're just gonna stamp that right on the high points of our cheekbones. Blending, blending, blending. And there you have it. Now you very well could you leave your highlight like this if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put that in my brow bone as well. Me on the other hand, you guys know I like to put on a ton of highlight, okay? So this is just the beginning. This is just the starting point. We're just giving ourselves a base to work with so that everything that we put on top will give me a nice pop. Shake somebody's money maker. I don't know what I was about to say. I don't know where that was going. <laughs> I'm gonna take the new Fenty um, highlight. There's a couple different Fenty highlights I'd like to use. It depends on what color I'm wearing that day. Um, but today I'm going to use the Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey, um, which is the new one of the newer ones from the most recent launch. Looks like this. And I'm gonna take my favorite highlighting brush, which is the Sephora Pro featherweight blending. And I'm gonna take both sides actually. I'm going to just swipe that on both sides. And I'm just gonna place that on top here. I'm not really gonna like sweep all the way across because I just wanna focus it in that area. 
but you can be as wild as you want, sis. I'm just gonna put it right here just to highlight that area and make it really stand out. And I'm also gonna dust it on my brow bone as well. And on my nose. I also really like Dr. Facilier, the ColourPop Villains. And this is the color. It's actually really gorgeous. It's like a peachy gold. I wanna be extra highlighted because why not? Okay. Now that I'm highlighted beyond all reason, this is the Jelly Much eyeshadow. This is my current favorite eyeshadow at the moment. Um, I literally wear this anytime I go somewhere. This is what it looks like. ColourPop has some really pretty ones, but this one is my current favorite. I actually haven't even touched the inside of this. I really just use what's on the cap. So I'm just gonna use my finger. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to dab. Well, I'm not really dab, more like a swipe. I'm gonna swipe that onto my eyes and then tap around the edges to just kind of blend that out. It gives a wet appearance, but it really doesn't even, I'm gonna use another finger. It really doesn't even um, dry down wet. It dries down to like a powdery matte finish. So you totally can wear this all day. It doesn't get everywhere. Um, it doesn't transfer a lot. It pretty much stays put wherever you place it. It kind of changed the game for me. You guys know I'm not an eyeshadow person. So stuff like this is really fun and easy for me to wear because then I don't have to like worry about doing a whole lot to my face. But I look like I tried, you know? So that is uh, what we got going on here. And I'm actually gonna take just this little tiny brush here and just blend out these edges because I can never really get in the inner corner because my freakishly long nails. Metalist Sparkling Foil Pigment. It's called Touch in Soul. I was walking out of Sephora and I saw these on display. I just like sparkly stuff and I decided to pick it up. I don't even have to like swipe it. I touched it lightly and that's what it looks like. It's freakishly gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take the very corner of this little brush here and I'm just gonna place that right there on the inner corner. I'm not moving anywhere else because this little guy is very bright. I don't want it to go crazy on me. It's like a green. So now I'm going to do my brows. Um, you guys know my brows are always the same. I never do anything different with them. So I'm gonna do my brows really quickly and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I filled in my brows. I'm going to use the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel on top just to define them and hold them in place. If you want your brows to stay in place all day and not move, this brow gel is the truth. Next, we are going to do our mascara. I'm actually gonna put on lashes so I don't really need to do a whole lot of mascara-ing. I want to just show you guys my favorite mascara right now. This is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. I don't know what it is about this mascara that I just love so much, but I layer coats. I put on about three layers. I'm actually not gonna do that today because I am gonna wear lashes, but I just wanted to show you guys how much I like it. So I'm just gonna use a white eyeliner. Um, there's tons you can use. I love the ColourPop one. I also really like this Smashbox eyeliner as well. To me, the white eyeliner just, number one, it makes me look super bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. It makes my lower lashes stand out a lot more. And it just kind of brings the whole look together. And I just got some new lashes from Taylor. Your lash bar just rebranded and she has new packaging. It's actually really, really cute. This is Jaeger Bomb, which is um, one of the faves that you guys have seen me wear on my Instagram. I also have Screwdriver is one of my favorites as well. I love Screwdriver. This is Pink Lady, which which is a new style. And that's the one I'm gonna wear today. Pink lady, won't you be mine? Just pop them on really quickly to see if I need to cut them. Actually, I may not have to. I get a lot of questions about how I put on lashes like so easily and effortlessly. Practice is, makes perfect, practice is the key. Because if you don't practice and you just go in with your baby reindeer legs, you're gonna fall over, okay? You're gonna fall. So you gotta make sure that you really get some strength. You gotta build up some strength 
in your lash muscles, okay? Also, she also came out with a lash glue, which is called On The Rocks. And the lash glue is really good as well. I've tried it a couple times with this glue. You have to kind of let it sit for a little bit um, so that it can get tacky. What I like to do is I just apply the glue to one lash and then I go in with the other lash and prep that one, get the glue on it, let it sit. And by the time I do all of that, the lash is ready to be put on. It's called multitasking, all right? I'm just gonna take our scissors again. And I am cutting off a little piece of the end. And once the glue starts kind of drying a little bit, it'll start looking a little bit more clear. I'm just gonna take a hand mirror and put it like flat, parallel to the floor and look down and go behind my lashes, place the center and then pop, lock and drop it and then pop, lock and drop this in. And because my nails are long, I don't find it a disadvantage. I just use them as tweezers just to make sure it's closest to the lash line as possible so that no lifting occurs. It's all about being calm because if you're not calm, then you'll mess up and then you'll freak out and then... So once the lash is on there, you should not be able to lift it off. Like I tug at it a little bit to see if it's lifting anywhere and it is not. Do like we did before, look down. Wiggle it onto the lash line, pop, lock, and drop it. You wanna make sure each corner is on there really good before you move on to the next corner because if you let the glue dry too much and then it doesn't adhere to your skin, it'll just dry and it won't sit right. And if it does dry out, it's okay. You can just put some more glue on it. Lashes are on. That is what Pink Lady looks like. I think I really like these. These are super cute. Uh, I am gonna put on a little blush. I use the same blushes all the time. I really wish I had some new ones. Um, ColourPop did send me some blushes, but the thing I find about ColourPop blushes is sometimes they don't really show up on me well. So I still use Makeup Geek blushes um, that I just, I bought them a long time ago. This one is, um, I believe called Covet, and that's my favorite one. Cause it's springtime, and in the spring we wear brush, we wear blush. Just blend that back. Make her face look more spring appropriate, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's only my third day out here. I don't know. Um, I'm going to do my lips now. My go-to lip is currently the ColourPop BFF3 lip pencil. I use this lip pencil literally anytime I wear makeup. I wear this pencil. And I just use it on the outer part of my lips. Just to to find them. Normally, you guys know me, I go for a nude. So the nude that I've been really liking is the Pixie Bare Beauty lipstick. I really like this one. It's got more of a pinky undertone to it. It's not completely nude. It's a very like basic nude color, but I love to put gloss on top. One of my favorite glosses, I have a couple favorites right now. I really like the Buxom Spring Collection or whatever. I have Fuzzy Navel and Russian, White Russian. Um, this one, Fuzzy Navel, is really cute. It's like um, a peachier nude. And I love Buxom glosses because they typically have like a minty, refreshing feel. I don't know how to describe it, but it makes your lips cold. So yeah, I really love this lip gloss. It's nice. I also like the Stay Glossy lip glosses by Rimmel. The Rimmel has some of the best drugstore lip glosses. I love Rimmel's glosses and they're very inexpensive. So yeah, when people ask me like what lip color I'm wearing, I always be like, y'all, I'm wearing like four different lip colors. I don't know. And to top it all off, we're going to do a setting spray. Um, my go-to setting spray, I like two right now. This one is the Watermelon Glow Fine Mist. But my all-time my all time favorite is the Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. Um, both of these are really good. This one's better for like making your makeup lot last longer. This one's really refreshing. So if you find that your face gets dry throughout the day and you need a refresher, this is a good one. But I like this one um, for like cake facing. Um, it kind of like sets all my makeup together and gives me like a very natural finish, so. lightly spray and I like this one because I can spray it with my eyes open and it doesn't like blind me so that is all for my full glam beat when I want to really 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 beat my face okay this is what we do I hope that this was helpful for you guys I hope that you guys enjoyed it oh wait I forgot to show you guys I got this sea goddess hair and body shimmer mist um, I got this from Sephora as well it's like a glittery spray 
Um, I wanted to try it on my wet hair because I know it probably isn't safe to use when my hair is straightened. So I want to try this out. Whoa. <gasps> Oh, and it smells good too. Oh, I'm about to put this in my hair. Look at that. If you're going to a festival at any point, you should probably use this spray because it's gonna make you glittery. Okay, glitter hair. I like it. All right, I'm done. I'm done playing around with stuff. I'll talk to you guys later.